So when was the first like like Swisher like like Northside like slow down tape? Oh man, it actually was probably let's see, I met Watts in ninety four. So if I had to say the first Northside slow down tape, cause see Watts was doing them, they was called Swisher mixes. So they were slowed down. So I probably had to say Watts probably had been doing that about about two years. So probably Watts probably started in about 92, 91, too. Yeah, and it was as a response cause it, uh, to the South Side thing, or he was just already just doing his own thing? Well, the Swisher mixes weren't slowed down mixes. They were just Watts just doing Yeah, now the Swisher mixes, they were slowed down mixes. Hmm. They were just called Swisher mixes at the time. So they had to be around 92. 293 because yeah like i said i met wise probably 94 yeah i did not probably but i, I met wise 94 because i started working for the radio 93 watts came about eight months after me in yeah. 94 so he had already been doing them tapes so if i had to put it you know without him being here and I, you know i need to ask him when so, so what i'm asking is but um it had to be at least about 90 Two ninety three, because he had already had a few volumes of 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 of, of a north side of the yeah. north side. Like when I got there, it was on already going to north side eight. So he already had north side one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Okay. So who uh, is it? Are people rapping on the tapes at that time? Yeah. Or they? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm glad them tapes didn't come out. <laughs> oh no, shit. It was just like that. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell fuck yeah. <laughs> Okay. Them motherfuckers can't even come out to the day right now. Yeah, that's no what I was shit. gonna ask. Is it an archive with well, those? No, them motherfuckers cannot come out. So, was, so who was the first people over there? Because this is before Slim, I'm imagining, right? Because I know oh, yeah, yeah, this way for Slim. This way for me. This, this is for me. Like I said, I didn't. You know, I'm, 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 I'm a part of you know making this Swisher house. You know, and converting to that brand. By that time, Watts already had, you know, uh, rappers. Uh, they wouldn't really rap. They be really street niggas though. They was rapping on the tapes though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They rapping on the tapes to say that, what they had. That's a common theme say. in Houston, you know. Yeah, yeah, street yeah. niggas getting on the mic. Yeah. So mm-hmm. that that's the you know that really was you know, it was so you know they had already they had that going. But when me and Watts got together and started hanging out really tough, like in '95, we really started hanging out tough, and that's when he started letting me talk on his tapes, and. One thing left from another, talking on them, and then that's when you became the OG Ron C. Or you was already OG Ron C. Actually, I'm sad to say, but I need to find out what year was that Mad Hatter put out. You know, because I, I used to do the 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 Houston Hard Hitters. Remember Houston Hard mm-hmm, Hitters mm-hmm. and all the chop versions. Yeah. I used to do all the Mad Hatter's chop versions. Mm. So Mad Hatter was the very first person to really get an album chopped and screwed besides outside of DJ Screw. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? Like DJ Screw ain't really never chopped up nobody album, right? He released a, you know his own album. He wasn't and, doing full album. And and right. you know, well he released, you know, his own album. Right. Yeah, he wasn't like he was somebody else's, else's album yeah. is what I'm saying. Right. Yeah. He wasn't yeah. giving somebody else's album the treatment, right? So Mad Hatter was the really the first one started that. Hmm. You know, putting yeah. out yeah, Mad Hatter was the really one, you know, first one started that. You know, I know nobody else said, but yeah, Mad Hatter. Damn, you know, he was the really the first one started doing the 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 the, the whole the album CD thing and putting the chopper screws version inside of it. Yeah, Mad Hatter was that. Yeah, yeah, that like Damn. they need to give Mad Hatter a little props though, man. You know what I'm saying? Even though me and that Mad Hatter didn't have out out of because everybody gonna be like, man, why you talking about Mad Hatter? You know, me and Mad Hatter don't get along. Yeah, I get so, I'm just, so I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. It ain't the fact that me and a man had to don't get along. We just have our choice of how we, you know, do business. Yeah. So you know, it, you know, they can people can take it for what they want to take it. Yeah, yeah, we have had our, you know, our run-ins. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? But that's, you know, that's life. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It ain't with nothing. Then get nothing serious. Like, oh nigga, I'm gonna kill you. You gonna kill me? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, nah, it is what it is. So. But Matt Hatter though, I will get I give him his props on that though. You know, he you know, he did he did a lot of stuff that people don't really recognize and maybe give him props for though. So yeah. you know, you know, I give him props for that. And to take it even further, like I said, with him being the first ones to do that, he the one that gave me the name. So y'all wanna be mad? Be mad at Mad Hatter. He the one that said OG. Hmm. 
first. So it was an issue when you came out and you was the OG, Ron. Yeah, C. so it was Ron C at first, then he threw the OG. Yeah, yeah, yeah on word up. Because he said on one on one of his tastes, and you can go back and look on one of them Houston hard hitters, he put on there hosted by OG Ron C. And I went. Yeah. <laughs> so, on his, so he asked me to come in and introduce intro one of his songs. Now this is what made it official because I don't think nobody really paid attention to the fact that it said that on the back of the nigga. I'm 25 years old, like OG. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so I don't think nobody really paid the, the fa- attention to the fact. And then he asked me to come in and intro one of his songs on his album, which was called Crump. And on the thing, I was in there. This nigga cat was in there playing on the fucking playing with the board. Every time I kept going in the damn studio, so that what I said on that was really real. Cause I said, "Nigga, quit playing. Yeah. Put the needle on the turntable." And I said, <laughs> um, "I said, matter of fact, I said this is a. I said when you see me on the streets, you address me as OG Ron C." And that was it. <laughs> Once I said that, it was it. Everybody just started calling stuck. me OG Ron C. And That's just, live. Uh, and shit, I'm glad my work at the it worked out to be to, to, <laughs> to uh, compliment the OG status. But yeah, now nah, it was OG status, nigga. I was 25, 26, and that happened. Yeah, so yeah. So that you know, and it was it, it was funny. Like it, it was funny because you know being around like I'm 26, 27, then like my OGs, they ain't they probably like. 36 37 so they like 10 years eight or nine ten years older than me they looking at me like nigga, young nigga out here you <laughs> <call yourself OG. laughs> you know <laughs> like that shit stuck though man because you know at the end of the day it was you know i was giving people the knowledge i was the first to doing some things so you know it was tell me about some of the first things you that you was doing right i mean their first tape coming out hard they produced that both of them yeah them two Oh, T Mix wasn't even yeah, he wasn't around at the time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was totally ball and G. That's why if you ever listen to even lay it down, if you listen to the way it sounds, because I think it's on the second tape, which is on the outside looking in. Mm-hmm. It's sonically you being a producer, it sounds different mm-hmm. because that was done around coming out hard time. J G produced that track. MJG did mm-hmm. himself from start to finish. Wait, wait, wait. MJG produced Lay It Down? Yes, sir. Oh shit. Yes, sir. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. No doubt. Yeah, MJG produced Lay It Down. That's why, I like I said, you being a producer, next time you get a chance, listen to how and how that song sounds different. That was supposed to, that was done around the country. It was supposed to be on the first time. one. Yeah. No shit. Yeah, we had it for a while before they actually put it out. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston.